So let's see what messages we have. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 27th, 2019. What messages or guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 27th, 2019. What messages and guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 27th. 2019. All right. So let's see here. Knight of Wands, underlying energy. Hmm. Okay. Woof. So someone's very much moving forward. Um, Capricorn energy under here. Uh, devil energy here. Could have been dealing with. This is. This is. This is okay. So someone's in suspension here. I'm really trying to come into an alignment. Really focus on moving forward here but conflicted maybe dealing with other people someone may be conflicted in suspense dealing with other people um double card here someone has a fear of moving forward there is a drive to move forward there's passion this could have something to do with sex okay for some of you guys this could have something to do with sex and there may be other people involved got a menage a trois going on up in here um <laughs> whoa someone's in suspense a cycle may be ending um but someone's in suspense. Someone's dealing with some karma. It seems to be karmic. So, it seems to be karmic. All right. Hangman here. Why is this hangman here? You need to be in alignment. Okay. So, some of you guys may be um, either needing to be in alignment with a situation, with a person here. That may be very sexual. Maybe it's a karmic situation. Knight of Wands here. Um, Ace of Cups. Oh, some of you guys are moving forward here. Trying to escape a situation. Capricorn energy here. Fortune, will of fortune. So maybe in someone's suspense, they've had some sort of enlightenment, really a, trying to adjust or trying to evaluate how they can move forward. The seven of wands and the knight of wands, this could be sexual. Some of you guys could be in some sort of sexual type of karmic situation. Some of you could be dealing with multiple partners because... I literally have a menage a trois here. Or not, if it's not a menage a trois, it's like everybody got somebody else and everybody's doing somebody else. The world card here, let's get up out of that because this other. The world card here, what's going on here? Three of Wands, someone's trying to have patience here, moving forward. Eight of Wands, needing to understand their value. There's a growth. Someone has moved forward. Um, someone walked away. There's an end of a cycle. But someone still is, is, someone's moving forward now. They're allowing their ships to come in. But it's almost like someone's moving forward, but someone's still hanging in suspension here. Um, really desiring either to move toward a, a love opportunity, a cycle that maybe, they may be still stuck in a cycle that is complete and needing to reevaluate how to move forward. Four of Swords maybe needing to come into an alignment with yourself. Someone could be careful with their movements, um, dealing with other people, maybe dealing with karma needing to come into alignment with what they desire it's like you know someone is in their state of suspension realizes something either realizes something of emotional value maybe realizes who they love now they're trying to figure out how to escape this dynamic here because there are multiple people here so somebody, somebody may be trying to escape this dynamic to be able to move forward why is this four of swords here this is libra energy why is this four of swords here yeah so <laughs> Someone's setting some boundaries here. I'm telling you, there's multiple people here. Three of cups under here, five of wands here, five of wands in the middle of my deck, knight of wands, devil cards. Some of you guys are more than, more than definitely dealing with karmic situations, karmic partners, um, may even be dealing with multiple partners here, or someone that you're dealing with is dealing with multiple partners here, because there is a lot of people. Um, I don't actually see a lot of people on my layout, but there are a lot of people that are hidden here. Um, Someone needs to direct their energy, come into alignment with themselves, meaning someone's spreading themselves a little too much here. So with the four swords here, someone else could be coming to an alignment, setting boundaries to themselves, temperance here, Sagittarius energy, Aries energy here, really having anxiety here. So maybe that's why they're going within themselves, but someone's, someone, whew, someone might be trying to bring you into this dynamic as well. So be very aware of that. Be cautious of what you're getting yourself into or what you're sticking yourself into. Justice card here, Libra energy here. Why is this Justice card here? Why is this Justice card here? It's got the Three of Pentacles here, Tower card here, 
Four of Swords again. Um, Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on to a situation um, or maybe very... Someone's holding on to a relationship. Someone's holding on to a relationship. High Priest is here. Um, may not be talking about it, but they're holding on to a relationship. Really trying to make the pieces work to something. Three of Pentacles here. Um, this could be a partnership here, a marriage. Someone may realize that they need to remove themselves from either a marriage or some sort of commitment. This is because there's multiple people here. And they've put a lot of time into this situation. There's a new opportunity for love. Someone wants to move toward that. But they're in their state of suspension. This is a voluntary suspension. So someone is really standing still right now. Um, trying to figure out either what their next move is. After realizing that they need to move away from a situation. There are some conflicts here. So some of you guys either have legal conflicts here that involve other people. You're burdened by that. Um, you're trying to stand your ground mentally and financially. This could have something to do with finances too because something has been at a stagnation here and you realize that you got to go within yourself. So either you're the one that has been at stagnation because of this hangman and now you realize that you kind of got to cut yourself loose so that you can move. Why is this five of wands here? Yeah, you're going to make a decision to move towards something new. So you're in conflict, internal conflict, uh, external conflict, competition, dealing with other people. Someone needs to balance their emotions and make a move forward. Even if you're not dealing with other people, um, you just may be conflicted about something, conflicted about your movements, conflicted about a cycle ending, and just really trying to do what's right for yourself. Um, this can be an unexpected... Uh, some of you guys can be getting an unexpected message. Of passion I'm not gonna say it's good passion because I do see conflict um, it, it may be good a good message but it causes conflict so now you're just trying to weigh your options and see exactly um, hmm. the Libra scales are out here you're trying to weigh up some things what messages do we have for Gemini Libra and Aquarius all right Secrets. So some of you guys may have found out some secrets here in your state of suspension. I'm telling y'all, y'all have realized something. Maybe you've realized that you've caused the conflict or realized that, um, I don't know. Is it is maybe a realization that you were living in an illusion because we got revelation, illusion, and secrets here with humor as an underlying energy. So some of you guys may have been playing around with the situation. Revelation, this is a 10. So this is ace. This is one. You're seeing clearly that you need to make a decision to get out of this illusion. I'm, I'm doing numbers, y'all. More than definitely doing numbers. Yeah, some of you guys may be in a third party and you're realizing that now. <laughs> And you're realizing that now. That's all I got, y'all. Until next time. Peace.